All right, let's talk about Kellen Mond, why don't we? Kellen Mond, a player who, if you've been following this channel for a long time, you know, I fell in love with coming out of college. I thought he was going to be great. I was pounding the table saying everyone's sleeping on Kellen Mond. Uh, turns out uh, maybe the haters were right. Uh, maybe he hasn't yet lived up to the even the third round uh, hype that he, uh, you know, when he ended up getting drafted. But Let's talk about his game today. What have we seen from him? Someone who really didn't play well uh, when we saw, saw him barely in the NFL and even uh, in preseason in the past did not perform too well. Has he taken a step forward? Well, let's get into it. All right, let's start off with this play. What's going to happen here? This was a, a play where if you're a Kellen Mond fan, you're which I'm not sure how many Kellen Mond fans left or still are, but if you are a Kellen Mond fan, if you're still a believer, this is the play you point to and say, hey, this is, you know, a really good play. If you're a hater, you point to it and say, this is a disaster. Well, let's talk about it. So it's going to be a zone coverage play, cover two zone, and this route is going to get to a point where before it gets to the safety, it could get open. So, okay, definitely something you want to look towards. Right when this play begins, Mond takes the snap. You He throws down the field. There is a flag, but you see right here, there's a window for this throw to be made, but it's a tough throw. It is. This is not a wide open window whatsoever, and I would say the corner here is doing a good job of clogging up that passing lane as much as possible. The safety's taking a little bit longer to get over there, so there is a bit of a window because of that. And this throw eventually just gets dropped. Now, you have to imagine the fact that the corner, you know, nearly was able to intercept it, sort of affected how the uh, receiver, you know, reacted to the ball. At the end of the day, still probably one you have to catch if you're a wide receiver. Also certainly one that the corner could have potentially at least knocked away if not intercepted, nearly had the interception there. So again, that's why I say there's multiple ways you could look at that one. Yes, it could very much be considered a uh, a negative play of that could have easily been intercepted, but at the same time, it wasn't. He did get it over the corner and it was in position to be caught if it wasn't dropped so you could look both ways at that one like one thing I would say is there were some drops that kind of makes the overall stat line for Mond look worse than maybe it would have been overall stat line was 13 for 19 92 yards and one touchdown one interception but let's go to some negatives I mean the reality is yes you know maybe some, certain things could have made the stat line look better as a whole I did not think this was an impressive day for Mond there were some nice things you know that was I want to start off with kind of a nicer play from Mon, and even that you could definitely argue was a negative play uh you know I, I let's go over to this one which was the the interception that happened which looks like he just didn't see someone over the middle of the field so the way this play works is one of those on paper totally could work it's zone coverage you have a receiver running about over the middle okay these kind of things work sure Watch how right when this play begins, Mon runs the play action and is going to fire down the field. And you see, by the time the camera gets over there, it's intercepted. But you see right here, when this play is intercepted, he just never saw the player over the middle of the field. I mean, that's what happened. Because this is a catchable ball further down the field. I'm not really sure why he missed it. Again, maybe if I saw the all 22, you could tell exactly what happened. But the reality is... Uh, you know, with the broadcast footage, all we know is he just missed the player over the middle of the field. He just didn't see him, which is definitely a concern for someone like Kellen Mond, who, you know, uh, does kind of have a history now of not being really a NFL ready quarterback, uh, still at this point in his career, making rookie mistakes, even though he has been in the league for a minute now. And there were also things like this, which I just don't even really remember being a massive issue at the college level for Mon, but it's going to be an issue here. So what's going to happen is there's a, a player, you know, off the edge right there who's going to be blitzing. So that's the way this play works. And kind of one, things that, one thing that you're taught is, hey, throw to wherever the blitz came from. Because if a blitz came from a certain point, the chances are there's a window to make that throw. Watch, Mon takes a snap. I'm not sure if he read this or if this is just what he was doing anyway. I think he read it though. I think he read it. So this is good, right? Reading the play, get it there quickly. Uh, there's going to be a safety who now comes in and tries to make a tackle, but there's a chance you can get a first down here. And if you break a tackle, maybe much more than just a first down. Even if there's a quick tackle, you're still gaining a few yards, setting up a third down and short. 
and Mon just whiffs on a throw right here is, is what it looks like. I don't believe that was tipped. In fact, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I don't really get what happened there. That was uh, ruled a catch. It, it didn't look like a catch to me, but it was ruled a catch. I never saw a good replay of it. Um, either way, it doesn't matter because they were right around the same spot anyway, whereas that could have at least been a few more yards and potentially a first down. He missed it, and these are, I mean, this is why he's currently on a new team now, why he's no longer a Minnesota Viking is because of these types of things, quite frankly. Like, heading over here is another example, and, you know, this stuff is weird because, like, at the college level, his accuracy was a massive plus. Like, that's something that, you know, what, part of why I liked him so much was because of how accurate he was in college. When guys were getting open, he was hitting those guys. But at the NFL level, he just hasn't done that. And this is an example where it's going to be zone coverage, and you're just trying to hit a tight end underneath. It's third down and, or excuse me, second down and 13. You're a little bit outside field goal range. So, hey, let's gain five yards, create a manageable third down and on top of it be in field goal range so worst case scenario we can at least get on the scoreboard here at the end of the first half um and watch what happens Kellen Mond takes the snap he's going to look over he fires and this is easily open I mean this is a layup this is just a throw that you quite frankly do have to make and Mond's throw should have been intercepted I mean look at that I mean that was you know lucky to be intercepted you know looked like for a second maybe it was intercepted but no it did hit the ground uh but that was just a drop uh, defensive play on a, you know, horrible misfire by Kellen Mond, quite frankly. So listen, there were some nice things by Mond, you know, on tape as well. He did uh, score a touchdown on this drive. That is something that ended up happening. But as a whole, honestly, this was far more of what I saw on the film. It really was. So yeah, I mean, as a whole, like, I don't know. Again, I don't know what it, exactly it is about Mond, and quarterback play is so hard to predict. I mean, at the end of the day, very few quarterbacks are NFL ready coming out of college. He is someone who I thought would be relatively NFL ready. I thought that the accuracy would be a positive. It's turned into a massive weakness, and it's still showing that here, and he still hasn't, in my opinion, gotten it together in the preseason. So it's like, if he can't even get it together in the preseason, uh, you know, what are we expecting from him, uh, you know, later on? What are we expecting him to be able to do, uh, you know, in the actual season if he ends up winning the backup job? I just don't know. I just don't know how we feel about Mond. It's just one half of a preseason game. The nice thing for Kellen Mond is he gets more time to prove himself. And he wasn't a mess, I didn't think. But it wasn't good. It was a tough spot, I thought, from Kellen Mond. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.